to achieve your own personal best at your chosen sport. Neurofeedback therapy can help you reach new levels of performance, not just for a few fleeting moments, but more often and for longer periods than you have ever experienced before. The Italian soccer team recently discovered this when they focused on retraining their thinking by using neurofeedback, along with guided imagery and other cognitive restructuring techniques in a glassed-in room that became known as the mind room. Their use of these training methods drew much media attention when they won the World Cup in 2006, largely, it is believed, due to the neurofeedback therapy. Neurofeedback was instrumental in helping these athletes to free themselves from the stress and anxiety pro produced by self-criticism and by replaying past failures. Many athletes use positive imagery and visualization to center their focus on the desired outcome. Still, it can be a struggle to keep the mind from going over mistakes, in effect reinforcing them and possibly causing a repetition of the regretted performance. Neurofeedback therapy goes even further than positive imagery. A device receives feedback from the athlete's brain waves and rewards the brain for optimal performance and removes the reward when the brain wave readings show an increased stress level, which might be caused by pondering past failures. In the mind room, the soccer players chose the reward of making an animated robot on the computer monitor run using only their brain waves. After this exercise, the players would compare the speeds they had each achieved with the robot. They learned that it was impossible to make the robot run faster by consciously trying to, but only by relaxing the mind until the desired brain waves were attained. The importance of performing in a relaxed state can be especially obvious during a major event such as the Olympic Games. Athletes who are not expected to win a medal are just happy to be there and happily tell interviewers that they just plan to enjoy the experience and do their best. Often these performers will surprise everyone by winning a spot on the podium. Conversely, when the pressure is on to bring home the gold, athletes will frequently disappoint themselves by making unexpected mistakes that cost them the medal they dreamt of. Such was the heartbreaking case for figure skater Michelle Kwan in 2002, when everyone's hopes seemed to rest on her to win the gold in the long program, but it went instead to relative newcomer Sarah Hughes, and Michelle won the bronze. But during the closing exhibition, when the pressure was off, Michelle delivered an exquisite and flawless performance of the same routine. Few who watched her skate so elegantly to the song Fields of Gold will ever forget it. Neurofeedback therapy helps performers gain control over the emotions that cause this type of frustrating scenario and to reach that state of heightened intuition, creativity, and energy known as flow when they need it most. Neurofeedback therapy has been used in clinical situations for over 30 years, but as with any new development, it has taken time to overcome prejudices against it. Real-life experiences such as the Italian soccer team's famous win have helped to remove doubts and open the way for not only athletes, but also for musicians, artists, and others to reach new heights of creativity and power in their performances. My name is Dr. Claire Albright. I'm a psychologist and the author of a 168-page book called Neurofeedback, Transforming Your Life with Brain Biofeedback. You can download this book at www.neurofeedbackbook.com as an ebook PDF file for only $7.99. Go to www.neurofeedbackbook.com. I can be reached at 949-454-0996.